गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नरेश कुमार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनोटिकल इंजीनियरिंग डुंडीगल हैदराबाद टू डे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन बैंक फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री I want to solve question bank from module थ्री I want to discuss about part A problem solving and critical thinking questions. I want to discuss in detail part A problem solving and critical thinking questions. So in this lecture, first of all, I want to suggest two references of textbooks. which are given as follows first reference of textbook is the name of the authors are np wali and dr manish goyal publication is lakshmi Pub publication private limited and second reference of textbook is the name of the authors h k das and dr ram varma publication is s chand and complete private limited okay these two weeks are very important for engineering mathematics for second semester and uh, you can study of these books <coughs> now today i am going to discuss from module 3 the part a problem solving and critical thinking question from question bank and first we want to solve a question one which is taken from part a part a problem solving and critical thinking questions so now this question based on formation of differential equation formation of partial differential equation so basically first of all i want to discuss what is partial differential equation so partial <coughs> there is very necessary to discuss about partial differential equation in this question so solution solution function is given in our question function is given and we want to form a partial differential equation after eliminating the function function is x plus y plus z and comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 this is equation 1 here function is given there is some function is equal to 0 and function is given in our question we have taken this function as a equation 1 we want to form a partial differential equation from given function so how we can find partial differential equation with the help of given function after eliminating the function after eliminating the function we can form the partial differential equation so first of all i want to discuss about some points in partial differential equation number 1 in partial differential equation in partial differential equation z is dependent variable <coughs> point 1 z is dependent variable point 2 x and y are independent variable variables x and y are independent variables number point 3 z is dependent 
on x and y. So, z is the function of x, y. Okay. Fourth point is differentiation of z. Differentiation of z with respect to x. Then we get then do z over do x. This is small p. Five point differential of z with respect to y then do z over do y equal to q because z is a function of x y because z is a function of x comma y here we discuss a formula that is known as a Euler's formula. Euler's formula. So here, six point, we discuss Euler's formula. What is Euler's formula? Euler's formula is z is a function of x y. There are two independent variables in the function, and z is one dependent variable in the function. So, in any function, there are more than one independent variable and only single dependent variable. Then we want to differentiate of dependent variable with respect to independent variable partially. So, total differential of z here, dz. dz, differential of z here. Differential, total differential of z. dz equal to here do z over do x differential of z with respect to x and differential of x is dx plus do z over do y differential of dy this formula we apply in this question okay this is equation 1 this is 2 and this 3 clear so this is the basic concept in partial differential equation so we recall the points. Then now I want to solve our question. Here question is function x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0. This equation 1. Okay. Now let. Now let. U is equal to x plus y plus z. This equation 4. And next v is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. This equation 5. Then, then equation 1 h. Equation 1 h f u comma v is equal to 0 this equation 6 now differentiating u with respect to x y respectively respectively then we get here do u over do x, this is equal to differentiation with respect to x. So, do over do x of u, u is x plus y plus z. Okay. But we have already discussed in just a minute, z is a function of x and y. So, z differentiate with respect to x and z differentiate with respect to y. z is not constant. But when we want to differentiate with respect to x, then y is constant. And again, we differentiate with respect to y, then x is constant. But z is never constant here. z is some function of x and y. So if we want to differentiate with respect to x, then we get do z over do x. So here we want to differentiate with respect to x. 
then our answer is 1 plus 0 plus dou z over dou x. So this result is dou u over dou x, this equal to 1 plus p. This is result dou u over dou x is 1 plus p. This is equation 7. Okay. Now, <coughs> here next dou u over dou y, differential of u with respect to y. So, this result is dou over dou y of x plus y plus z, differential with respect to y here, differential with respect to y, okay, of u. So, we write here x is 0 plus y 1 plus z dou z over dou y. So, we write here 1 plus this is q, we have already discussed dou u over dou y. So, this is equation number, this is equation number 8. Next, differentiating B, B with respect to, to X and Y. X and Y. Then we get here. So, here b square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. So, dou b over dou x here. So, this result is dou over dou x, x square plus y square plus z square. And now, here differential with respect to x, then y is constant. And z is not constant. Z is a function of x, y. Z is not constant, Z is a function of X and Y, okay, Z is never constant. Then we want here differential 2X plus 0 plus 2Z dou Z over dou X. So this result is equal to 2 is common X plus Z and this is P. This is dou B over dou X. This is equation number 8, 9. This is 9. Okay. Now again, again, differential B with respect to X, B with respect to Y. Okay. So dou B over dou Y, this equal to dou over dou Y of x square plus y square plus z square. So, differential of x is 0 and plus 2y. This equal to 0 plus 2y and plus 2z dou z over dou y. Now, this result is dou b over dou y is equal to 2 is common y plus z cube. This is equation number 10. We here find several derivatives, differential of b with respect to x, differential of b with respect to y, differential of u with respect to x, differential of u with respect to y. Okay. Now, <coughs> at last here, f u v, this is 0, this equation is given, equation number h. This is equation number u b equal to 0. U b, this equation number 6. From equation 6, from equation 6, we have f u b, this is equal to 0. This is equation 6. Now, differentiating function f with respect to x. So, differentiating f with respect to x. Okay. So, first of all, apply Euler formula. Here, apply Euler formula. Euler's formula. Then we get here dou f over dou x, this equal to, 
here do f over first of all u u is function is u u is the function of x and y so first differentiation of f with respect to u and differentiation of u with respect to x plus do f over do y do b differential of f with respect to b and b differential of b with respect to x so this equal to 0 this equation 11 again differentiating again differentiating f with respect to y so here do f over do y this result is do f over do u do u over do y and plus do f over do b and do b over do y this result is 0 this is 12 equation okay now now putting all derivatives putting value of all derivatives in equation 11 and 12 then we get here do u over do do f over do u do u over do x plus do f over do b do b over do x this is 0 equation 11 now do f over do b u do u over do y and plus do f over do b do b over do y this equal to 0 equation 12 all derivatives putting here so we know that here putting do u over do x do u over do b over do x do u over do y do b do u b over do y in 11 and 12 and 12 then we get here okay so here first of all do f over do u plus into do u over do x is 1 plus p plus this is do f over do b into do b over do x is 2 into z x plus z p this equal to 0. This equation 13. Now next. Do f over do u. And here putting 1 plus q. And plus do f over do b. Putting here 2 into z plus y plus z q. This equal to 0. This equation 14. Now solving equation 13 and 14. Solving equation 13 and 14. Eliminating eliminating the function. f eliminating the function f from 13 and 14 so how we can eliminate this now do f over do u this is equal to minus do f over do v and into 2 into z plus x plus z p upon 1 plus p 
This is value from thirteen. From thirteen, we have from equation thirteen, we have do f over do u. This is equal to minus do f over do b, and here two into x plus z p, and upon one plus p. This is the value of do f over do u and this equal to this equation number 15 now from 14 from equation 14 we have so here do f over do u this is equal to minus do f over do v and 2 here by plus z q And here upon one plus q. So this equation, this equation fifteen. Okay, what we see that in for fifteen in fifteen and sixteen, the left hand side is same, putting same equal equation. Okay, so now here we get from fifteen and sixteen, fifteen and sixteen, we get here. So here is we get now minus dou f over dou b into two into x plus z p upon one plus p. This equal to here dou f minus dou f over dou b and here two into By plus z q upon one plus q. Okay, this is the relation we have find out. This is seventeen relation. Okay, so here do f over do b is cancel. Minus minus is cancel. Two two is cancel. What happen here? Now next we here get x plus z p. Upon one plus p, this equal to y plus z q upon one plus q. We get this now. Writing in brackets and cross multiply. So here x plus z p into one plus q equal to y plus z q into one plus p. Now simplifying here. X plus x q, z p plus z z p q equal to y plus y p z p q and plus z q z q. So z p q z p q is cancel, and here x minus y y is taking this side, this y taking left side. And x q taking this side, so y minus p, y p minus z p, plus z q minus x q. So final here is here y p is common. Here y minus z p is common, plus q is common z minus x into q, and this equal to x minus y. So this is the required equation this is known as a partial differential equation okay this is this is required partial differential equation partial differential equation okay so this is the proof this is form of partial differential equation With the help of eliminating the given function. Next question, solution two. Here, p upon x square plus q upon y square equal to z. This is equation one. This is Lagrange. This is Lagrange's partial 
differential equation of first order and first degree okay what we know what we know the general equation general equation of lagrangian we know that pp plus qq equal to r is a general equation general partial differential equation equation of lagrange okay so here dx upon x square p upon x square plus q upon y square equal to here is z this equation 1 and pp plus qq is equal to r this equation 2 compare in 1 and 2 compare in 1 and 2 then we get then we get here <coughs> p equal to 1 upon x square and q equal to 1 upon y square and z equal to r is z now we know we know auxiliary form of lagrange auxiliary form of lagrange this is dx upon p equal to dy upon q equal to dz upon r so this is equation number 3 putting p q r putting value of p q and r in 3 so we get here dx upon x square dy upon y square and dz upon z this equation 4 here are three fractions here here three fractions are given three fractions are given okay now fraction 1 fraction 2 fraction 3 so taking two fraction first taking two fractions dx upon x square equal to dy upon y square now integrating this equation 4 this equation 4 integrating integrating 4 on both sides then integration 1 upon x square dx and 1 upon y square dy so here is minus 1 upon x equal to minus 1 upon y plus here c so we write here 1 upon y minus 1 upon x equal to c so next 1 upon y minus 1 upon x equal to c so x y here is x minus y equal to c this is one solution this is solution 1 this is 5 this is solution 1 this is solution 1 now again taking now again taking fraction 
एंड टू टू एंड थ्री फ्रैक्शन टू एंड थ्री फ्रैक्शन टू एंड थ्री देन वी गेट हेयर डी वाई अपॉन वाई स्क्वेर इक्वल टू डी जेड अपॉन जेड नाउ दिस इक्वेशन सिक्स इंटीग्रेटिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग इक्वेशन सिक्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑन बोथ साइड देन बी गेट हेयर इंटीग्रेशन वन अपॉन वाई स्क्वेर डी वाई इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन वन अपॉन जेड डी जेड सो हेयर इज माइनस वाई इक्वल टू लॉग एक्स एंड प्लस लॉग सी वन दिस सी वन एंड सी सी एंड सी वन आर एडवेटरी कॉन्स्टेंट सो हेयर राइट हेयर लॉग ई टू दी पावर माइनस वन अपॉन वाई इक्वल टू लॉग एक्स प्लस लॉग सी वन सो हेयर दिस इन टू लॉग e to the power minus 1 upon y minus log x equal to log c1 so here log e to the power minus 1 upon y upon x is equal to log c1 so this log cancel we get here e to the power minus 1 upon y upon x equal to c1 so this is the second solution this is 7 this is second solution this is second solution now complete solution is combination of solution 1 and solution 2 solution 1 is equation 5 solution 2 is equation 7 so we combine here in the form of the function we writing here function we writing here function solution of first here first solution is x minus y upon xy x minus y upon xy and second solution is e to the power Minus one upon y upon x, okay, and this equal to zero. This is answer. This is complete solution. We can again form this differential equation with the help of this function. In reverse, we are applying reverse procedure. Then we can can again find the differential equation with the help of this function. we have discussed in first question how we can form a differential equation partial differential equation with the help of given function so after eliminating the function we can find a partial differential equation so next problem is very easy problem solution here xp plus yq equal to 1 so we write here this equation 1 and here pp P P plus Q Q. This equal to R. This equation two. One and two. One and two. Both are Lagrange. Lagrange. Partial differential equation. equation of first order first order okay comparing in 1 and 2 comparing in 1 and 2 then we get here p equal to x and q equal to y And z equal to one. We get here p q r. So now next auxiliary equation of one. Auxiliary equation of two is d x 
अपॉन पी डी वाई अपॉन क्यू इक्वल टू डी जेड अपॉन आर सो नाउ डी एक्स अपॉन दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन थ्री जनरल लेग आग जनरल इक्वेशन सो डी एक्स अपॉन एक्स डी वाई अपॉन वाई डी जेड अपॉन वन ओके नाउ देर आर थ्री फ्रैक्शन दिस इज फ्रैक्शन वन दिस इज फ्रैक्शन टू दिस इज फ्रैक्शन थ्री सो देर आर थ्री फ्रैक्शन इन दिस इक्वेशन थ्री सो वी आर टेकिंग एट ए टाइम एनी टू फ्रैक्शन नाउ पुटिंग टू फ्रैक्शन टेकिंग टू फ्रैक्शन टेकिंग टू फ्रैक्शन एफ वन एंड एफ टू एफ वन एंड एफ टू आर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड फ्रैक्शन सो वी आर टेकिंग हेयर टू फ्रैक्शन डी एक्स अपॉन एक्स इक्वल टू डी वाई अपॉन वाई इंटीग्रेटिंग ऑन बोथ साइड इंटीग्रेटिंग वन अपॉन एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेटिंग वन अपॉन वाई डी वाई प्लस एडिंग दिस लॉग सी वन इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस लॉग वाई एंड प्लस log x equal to log y and plus log c1 c1 is an arbitrary constant now log x minus log y equal to log c1 apply formula of log here x upon y equal to log c1 log log is cancel then we write here x upon y equal to c1 this is equation 4 this is 4 this is solution 1 this is solution 1 now we find next solution taking fraction taking fraction 2 and 3 fractions f2 and f3 f2 and f3 so here dy upon y equal to dz upon 1 this equation is 8 integrating on both sides so integrating here integrating this dy upon y equal to dz so here is 1 dz plus here c constant log c2 so now this equal to here log y integration of this log y equal to here z and plus c2 log c2 so here log y here putting log e to the power z and this plus log c2 so now here log y into e to the power minus z we can write this so equal to log c2 log log is cancel y e to the power minus z equal to c2 this is second solution this equation 9 and this is second solution this is solution second so now complete solution now complete solution combination of solution 1 and solution 2 this is equation 4 is solution 1 this is solution 1 this is solution 2 so combination writing in function for function f here is ax upon y and comma y into e to the power minus z and this equal to 0 this equation 10 this is complete solution okay solution is this is required solution now next solution problem 4 
solve the partial differential equation. This is the first order and first degree Lagrangian differential equation. So all problems based on Lagrangian first order and first degree partial differential equation. Problem, all problems, problem 2, problem 3, problem 4 based on linear partial differential equation of first order and first degree. So this is in our given syllabus. So here solution, this is last problem, solution y square z p small p plus x square z small q equal to x y square. Okay, this equation 1. Now writing p p and plus q q and equal to r this equation 2. Equation 1 and 2 both are Lagrange Lagrange partial differential equation of first order first order and first degree. Now comparing in 1 and 2, comparing in 1 and 2, we get comparing in 1 and 2, P, what is P? A small capital P by square Z. Capital P is y square z and comma capital Q is x square z and capital R is x y square. This is equation three. Okay. We know that. Auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation of two is dx upon p equal to dy upon q dz upon r. This equation four. This is in fraction form. This is this is in Fraction form. Fraction form. Okay. Putting value PQR. Putting value of PQR in four. Then we get here DX upon y square z y dx upon y square z equal to dy upon x square z equal to dz upon x square y. So there are three fraction, fraction 1, fraction 2, fraction 3. This equation this equation 5. This equation 5. In 5, in equation 5, we see that there are three fractions. With the help of these fractions, with the help of these fractions, we find out two solution. Two solution. Okay. In equation five, we see that there are three fractions. Fractions. 
with the help of these fractions we have we find out two solutions two solutions now taking fraction 1 and 2 fraction 1 and fraction 2 okay so we get here dx upon y square z equal to dy upon x square z this equation 6 integrating on both sides integrating on both sides then we get <coughs> integrating dx upon y square z equal to integrating dy upon x square z dy dx okay so now z z is cancel integrating here x square dx and y square dy here variable separable here variables are separable are separable so we can integrate so we can integrate integrate on both sides so integration here x square dx by square dy so here x cube by 3 equal to y cube by 3 plus c1 by 3 c1 is an integrating constant here it reach cancel x cube minus y cube equal to c1 this is solution 1 seven this is solution 1 this is first solution okay now finding second solution finding second solution taking fraction taking fraction 2 and 3 so we get here dy upon y square z dz upon x square x square y dz upon x square y y square z x square z x square z dy upon x square z here is x square z so x square x square is cancel we get here dy upon z equal to dz upon y we write here next <coughs> we write here dy upon z equal to dz upon x so x here is y so y dy equal to z dz here variables are separable here variables are separable so integrate on both sides integrating on both sides integration y dy integration z dz <coughs> so here is y square y2 z square y2 equal to c2 y2 2 2 is cancel y square minus z square equal to 
C2. This equation 8, this is second solution. This is second solution. Now, complete solution is now complete solution is combination of solution 1 and 2 in function form. So, right here function first solution is what is first solution? x cube minus y cube, x cube minus y cube, comma second solution is y square minus z square equal to 0. So, this is this is complete answer. Okay. This is required function solution of equation 1. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.